Well, obviously, could not be more proud of these guys and, and the fight they continue to, to show that the first half of the season has not gone our way, much to our fault. But, uh, boy, you just saw how much these guys still believe, and they still believe in each other. Again, we keep challenging to be, bring it every day. Knew it was going to be a dogfight. Texas State, great club, great offensive club. And, you know, we're down early. The guys didn't blink. Thought Chandler Fidel did a great job of, of minimizing. He threw up uh, ones instead of crooked numbers through the fifth and sixth. And uh, we, we finally got into their bullpen. You know, Baker with a two home run day like a senior uh, does to, to cut it to, to five to three. And then uh, some great at bats by, by uh, Gifford, uh, Riley. Uh, some other guys, and then we finally, Jonathan Davis gets a base hit in the eighth, and then we get a couple more runners on, and Ty Gunner, uh, who, who hasn't been playing as much as he wants, they all want to play. They all want to play every day, and it's what I love about these guys, but they're unselfish, and they play with their, their, their ass to play, and uh, Danny uh, comes in and scores. We get the interference call. Uh, we've had that call go against us last year, so, so that's a tough one. Today, the calls went our way, and, and the guys created the scenarios where the calls could go our way. Dylan Slayton, he scuffled yesterday out of the bullpen, and Garcia picked him up. Today, Oberling struggles. Slayton, I challenged him yesterday to come in and fill up the strike zone like we know he can do. We intentional walk Ortega to set up bases loaded and two outs, create an airtight situation for Slayton, and all he does is shove it in the strike zone, get a ground ball. And it, it's just really, really gratifying for the players. Just happy for the players because they work so hard and they're playing hard, and, and finally it's starting to come to them a little bit, and I hope we can keep it going.